Welcome to Projects for All. My name is Mike, and today, today we're going to look at a tool that is not glamorous. Drain snakes. Drain snakes is probably the number one or number two tool that the average doesn't care about being a DIYer homeowner should own. These things can save you a ton of money. They're super easy to use. And besides being a little gross, they are no big deal. Plus, they force you to get a battery that you can use for a drill, which will also save you tons of money. So this one was sent here for free by Skill. It's a new multi-volt tool and it looks pretty awesome. We're gonna check this one out. I broke this one out here because this is the one I've been using in my house for like eight years. This Ryobi here works just fine, but I think this one's a little bit better and I'm gonna show you why. So let's get in here, we'll check these things out and yeah. If you own a home, if you, <laughs> come on you. If you own a home and you don't have one of these from any brand that you may have batteries from, you are wasting money calling a plumber. Auto feed and retract clears drains up to two inches. Compatible with 12 or 20 volt batteries, multi-volt. This is cool in this tool especially because they only had to make one tool for everybody. And it doesn't matter if you have both batteries, if you have one battery charged up, if you have two, it makes no difference. You're good to go. The box said 12 volt kit, and that's what you would receive if you were paying for this, but Skill finally got smart and they know that I own like a hundred of their batteries now from being sent tools for review. This is ridiculously simple. And that's why I like it. So this is a PowerCore 20 battery. It is the new USB-C. We're gonna use this one just for fun, but 12 volt will work just fine. A little baby 12 volt, two amp hour. Works just fine. Back to the 20. Crazy simple design. And I think that's its strong point. This has forward, reverse, Literally all you do is hold this down. So you grab it, squeeze it together, and it feeds. Put it in reverse. It's pretty snappy, man. Not bad. Not freaking bad. Here is the Ryobi that I've been using for practically a decade. I don't know exactly how long because I didn't mark in my memory the awesome event of buying this because it is not a glamorous man. It's got forward and reverse just like the skill does. It is an 18 volt only obviously product. The way to feed this is these ball bearings here. When you squeeze this handle up, it squeezes the ball bearings together. Those bottom ones come up and it squeezes the cable and it feeds. It has an auto feed feature where you squeeze it and you press this in and that's got that little lock there, auto feed, and now it should auto feed on its own without me having to squeeze the handle, which it does. But it does not lock up super tight and you have to squeeze the handle even though it's auto locked to get it to feed hard, like fast as it can and to make it through bends. So you end up squeezing the hell out of this thing. And I will tell you, if you're gonna get this out and get nasty and fling dirty water around, you might as well just clear every drain in the house. When one's clogged enough for me to get this, I do every drain because then they're all done and I don't have to touch this thing for a while, you know, hopefully. So by the time I'm done feeding, my hand's tired from squeezing this thing real hard. This, I think is gonna be a better solution. I have not used this yet, this is clean. There is another reason I like this design better. See these little feet here? So you're doing a tub. Drains here, you tilt this forward, 
you tilt the drum right in your tub. The drum hits the tub. There is nothing under there to protect the tub from the bottom of the drum. This little addition of these little feet here gives you something to tilt on. So as you tilt this towards a drain, that drum is not touching the bathtub or the sink. Also, the extension of this here, I just like this better, man. Ergonomically, this is better. Let's go clear a drain, see how it does. That is an 18 inch vanity. The worst place you could possibly film in my entire house is in either of my bathrooms. They are very tiny. So we're gonna do our best. The drain is back there. So we're gonna do our best. Let's see what happens. This is the most awkward place to film and I'm sure you're getting an echo from all the tile in here. So let's give it a shot. There's forward and we should be ready to go. Legit, we'll just feed it down here. We'll set it on its feet. We are all the way down in there. Yeah, it works. Oh, look what it found. That's disgusting. This has been clogging this drain for years. That Ryobi couldn't get that out of there. It is, I'm not gonna show it to you up close because I'm sure it's pretty gross. It is a little toy that lights up when it gets wet. When my kid was, well, probably about three years ago, <laughs> my wife would put these in here and one went down the drain. I've been trying to get this out literally for years. This is like, this is a happy day right here, even though it's gross. Oh man, I wish I'd shown you how slow this was before and how quick it is by comparison now without that toy stuck in there. Awesome. Seriously, I've been trying to get that toy out of that freaking drain for like three years. This has gone down that drain trying to get that toy out probably 15 to 20 times. <laughs> I can't believe I got that on camera, this one pulling it out of there. Was it seriously the lucky 21st time that I, I ran a snake through there and got that out? It could be. Is it because I was using this? It could be. I'm not making any claims. I'm just happy my drain works again. The wife's gonna be ecstatic. You can use 12 volt or 20 volt batteries. This is absolutely effortless to hold. I mean, it takes no effort to actuate this, to make it feed. You can tilt it towards the drain without the drum touching the surface. This one, you cannot. The drum's touching the surface. This takes a lot of finger strength to hold this. I'm sticking with this. I like it, it's simple. They both feed reasonably slow. This is not commercial stuff. You're not busting through a drain, but they get the job done. And I'm not gonna give you a close up because this pulled a lot of hair out of there too, which is awesome. If you don't own a drain snake, but you own a drain. There's a link in the description for this one. You go down there, you check it out, freaking buy it, seriously. It will save you tons of money and aggravation. And having drains that flow fast and normal in your house is like a luxury all of its own. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe, hit like on this video. We mostly do woodworking, table saws and such, but I like doing this random stuff once in a while. Skill sends it to me. I think it's fun to do something different. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.